Jungle. Hey there, guys. Luigi Vance here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Platinum. Last time we explored 203. I already forgot the name of the route. And we, as you can see, we picked up a new friend, Azalea, the Budu. We're also here in Orbrick City. So, yeah. Howdy, trainer. Huh? Uh-oh. You don't have a single gym badge. You better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon gym. Oh, but but I need to heal up. Uh, but, but buddy, I, I need to heal up. I'm not ready for a challenge. Oh. Huh? There's someone there. Oh, hey, what's up, Colonel? Huh? Oh, it's you, Spud. You finally got here. You're slow like always. F*** you too. But anyway, the gym leader's tough. Like, seriously serious. If the gym leader's this tough, I wonder how he compares to my dad. Huh? I just drifted there. Anyway, the gym leader's gone off to a coal mine. If you want to take on the gym leader, you better go to off to the mine. And you're just gonna stand? Or you want someone has to walk away? Where's the Pokemon Center? There's the Mart. Well, since uh we're here, we might as well explore the place. Uh, do you have a Pokemon called Machop? Trade it for an Abra? No, unfortunately, I do not. I know where you can find one, but nah. So yeah, Pokemon trades. You can get a, be a better Pokemon early on. This is a good example. <laughs> you have a matchup, you want to give an Abra? Go ahead, trade it away. Uh, you just, you're just more tutorial type NPCs, huh? Pokemon called Geodude? I do not have a Pokemon called Geodude. I'm gonna catch one and see what happens. Cause I don't remember if this guy actually gives you anything. Like, I am actually going out of my way to explore this city. Wow, who would have thought? Because you never know. Items are important. Uh, work lets you train Pokemon in a mine. There are eight gym leaders. Yeah, I, I know. Thank you for telling me. And you just telling me that a gym leader is tough. All right. Anything happening on the second floor before I consider this a waste of time? Oh, I got a dust ball. That allows me to catch Pokemon in caves. Well, let me rephrase that. It better works for catching Pokemon in caves. Or if it's nighttime. To be honest, it's like the, one of the most useful Pokeballs out there. I like it. I will... If I get a chance, I will use it a lot. The problem is, I record mostly in daytime. But I... But, but, that doesn't mean that there isn't a chance that I will play this tonight. Yes, it is. You heard you heard of shinies? Yeah. Yeah, it has an orange body, and then when it evolves to a Raichu, it has like a reddish orange body. Where's the Pokemon Center? It's right there. Excuse me, trainer running back and forth. Don't do that. Uh, do you... You just keep saying things. Do you keep saying things? <laughs> do you... Don't you think rock Shy Pokemon are nice? If I say yes. All right, let's heal up my Pokemon real quick. I don't think any of these NPCs have anything useful in the Pokemon Center. At least not yet. Well, let me rephrase that. There isn't anything eventful happening in the Pokemon Center. At least not yet. I'm just like foreshadowing a bunch of things today, aren't I? <laughs> I wonder who that someone is. I don't know. It's a mystery, who? All right, um. A little bit more of exploring. This is a museum. I'm not gonna go in it. And this leads to... Akin doesn't tell me things. Route 207! Need a bike to get up. You know, a bicycle. There's a cycle shop in Eternal City. Well, that won't be for a while. I think there's an item over here. Yep, there is. Oh, hey! Geodude! Uh... Yeah, why not? Well... <laughs> I was gonna say, let's catch it, and then Azalea is the first one out. Sure. You know what? Because it's paralyzed, I probably have a better chance. <laughs> Go, Pokeball! Catch that Geo, dude. First try. <laughs> Alright, um. This Geodude is not going to be a part of the team. It, it's just for experimental purposes. 
It looks just like a rock. Carelessly step on it and it will swing its fist angrily. Do you know there is another form of Geodude? If you step on it, it will shock you. Um... I don't know why I'm giving you a nickname. Um... No. I, I got something. I got something stupid. Geo dude. Perfect. Alright, let's get back to the thing. Pokeball! Makes up for the one I just used. Um, another thing I should point out is that if you want to get that Abra, you can actually find a Machop here. Oh, hey, it's a Ponytail. But yeah, you can find a Machop here. You just need to look hard for it. So if you really want that Abra, be my guest. Aha! I knew there was a hidden item there. It's suspicious looking enough. So that's two Pokeballs I have. Yeah! Alright. Enough dawdling. Let's uh head back to that guy and see what he gives me. Is it this house? I hope it's this house. Sure enough, it is this house. Oh, that Pokemon has a Geodude! Wow, that's so cool! And it's so cute! That does it! I'll go and catch my Pokemon too! Take this! Heal Ball! Eh. I wouldn't say it's not worth it, but... <laughs> I don't generally care... Or g genuinely care for a Heal Ball. It's a very useful Pokeball, but I think the design looks stupid. And if I'm gonna be staring at the same Pokeball for like 30 plus hours... I wanted at least something to be useful. <laughs> I want it to look cool. I don't care if it's practical. I just want it to look cool. Uh, you're just an NPC. All right, fine. Uh, I guess we just explore around here. There are items around here. Hey, I will take. Excuse me, guy. Oh, <laughs> hey, there was a hidden item there. Heart scale. Um. Heart scales are kind of useless at the moment, but trust me on this, you might want to keep them. And, uh, you know, j just keep them around. I will let you know when a time will come where those will be useful. J just not now. Alright, anything else here? Is there a hidden item? This looks suspicious enough to be a hidden item. Is there a hidden item? There can't be... There, come on, there has to be a reason. Come on. No? No? Fine! Oh, thanks for the super potion, though. Now that I can restore 60 HP? I forgot. 50 HP. Sorry, newer generations ruined me with, like, how potions work nowadays. Because I think now it's 60. Back then it was 50. <laughs> and it were least practical. Let's grab this item right here. It's a Pokeball! Neat. Oh yeah. Also, get ready for a wild encounter to pop up every every minute now. Keeps around Pokemon. You may be challenged Pokemon battles. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I have a Pokemon that looks like a rock. Its name's Ge Geo Dude, <laughs> because it's a Geode. Get it? All right, here we are in the mines, and I don't know which trainers will actually battle you. You know what? I never mind. I never mind. Wow, I can talk today! Yeah. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I snuck my Pokemon to work! But the but the guy up, upstairs told me that you, worker, that you coal miners already brought your po- What? You say that like it's a bad thing! What, are, are, are you not supposed to bring your Pokemon to the coal mine? Cause I, you know, a lot of people tell me that like, oh yeah, Rourke lets us train in the mines, and uh, oh yeah, some workers brought their Pokemon with them. You may be challenged, so it's just like, nothing makes sense. <laughs> Everything's a giant question right now. Well, aren't you now something? I can read. Yeah, time to work. I'll work up a thirst for my Pokemon. 
All right, cool. What's this item right here? Uh, it's a potion. I'm gonna need a lot more of those. Oh, hey, look. Important person. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. Falling boulders need to be smashed, so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you have to be the gym leader first. That'd be me. Okay, but I challenge you to a battle. Oh, you, you're gone already. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do than explore the mines. <laughs> Just a quick battle for my break. <laughs> you're about to go back to work on the loss. Hey, better get back to work. You know, I'd rather be traveling around the world the way you po do with Pokemon. Well, you will never get that chance. Also, <laughs> I decided to skip that battle. It's not important. And this Geo dude pops up out of nowhere and is all like, hey, what's up? And waste time. All right, let's head on back. I could use the escape rope, son of a... What I was about to say is that I could use the, uh, okay. I could have used the escape rope and get out of here faster, but I wanted to see what's up here. I bet you... I'm glad I I'm glad to know that I wasted my time. I I'm so glad. All right, I'm a It's not that I need healing, but I need healing. Healing? Healing. All right, here we are at the Orberg gym. His name is Rourke. Call me Rourke the Rock. No. I won't. Hey, what's up, buddy? Howdy. How's it going, champ to be? That's why I said, that's what I said really, uh, that's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier too. The gym leader is a user of rock type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock type Pokemon really hate water, all right? They're also weak to grass type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses, but don't think it will be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after a rock, uh, going after a rock, going after a rock type. <laughs> going after a rock type with a fire type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give you. Thanks for listening. Well, thanks for the advice. By the way, you can skip these trainers. I'm not, because I need the experience. <laughs> you avoided it a long way around. Let's see why you do that. Because I am confident and I can, I swear, I can beat you. No ifs, ands, or buts, Jonathan, with your geode. Also, Azalea needs more training. <laughs> I'm gonna use her a lot. Him, I'm gonna use him a lot, wow. I confuse genders. I'm a terrible person. One HP every time. One HP. Why? <laughs> Azalea, I should trade you. Sorry, right, this you dude's done. Give me a lot of experience. Level 13. There is a reason why I'm neglecting both Crimson, <laughs> both Crimson and a uh, 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 Pyro attack. So you're learning Mega Drain, which is actually super convenient because that's stronger than Absorb. So now you can do much more damage. Just in time too. Now I just understand why you decided to battle with me. You should go whichever way you go. Shortcut or the long way. I'ma go the long way. Screw shortcuts. All right, other youngster, show me what you got. Darius. With your Geodude? Is that all the Pokemon you have? Just Geodude? Okay, fine. Whatever. I'm gonna Mega Drain it. And then I definitely know it will KO it in one go. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> Much more powerful than Absorb. Man, I'm gonna blaze through this. Like, I'm so glad I, I decided to look up. Oh, hey, it's an Onyx. To look up um, where I could find Butter, because if I haven't, oh boy, <laughs> I was gonna have a rough time with this gym, and I knew coming all coming towards it, I might have a rough time, and then I have would have to invest in on on uh, a temporary Pokemon, 
that we'll probably never use again. Jeez, you're like growing levels fast. <laughs> oh, this is humiliating. But <laughs> one day I'm gonna be a tough trainer like you. Keep dreaming. Welcome, this is the Orberg Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I will, I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Alright, cool. Get ready to get destroyed by a tiny bud. A, a plant bud. Anyways, starts off with a Geodude. But you think I'm gonna tell you the moves? I'm, look, I'm gonna tell you. All I'm gonna tell you is to watch out for a move called Stealth Rock. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna give out the information. This <laughs> is just beyond me at this point. So there goes Geodude, that's easy. His other Pokemon, Onyx. It's a level 12. A again. Again. Watch out for a move called Stealth Rock. There's a reason why. I'm just gonna flat out straight say it because. Flat out straight say it. I'm gonna flat out say it. Uh, Stealth Rock, when you switch out your Pokemon for a different Pokemon, you get damage, and it does a lot. It, it, I think it also counts for weaknesses, too. So that's double the bad. <laughs> also, hey, look, Cranny Dose. Oh boy, I hope. Wow. <laughs> Oh, you expected me to switch. Oh, that's cute. That's very cute. <laughs> that That's very cute. Azealia, you're gonna take a back seat from here on out because you're now my toughest, my uh, strongest Pokemon. But yeah, watch out for this Crane Dose. It, it, it's, it's actually a bit tough. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's a prime example of how tough it could be. It, it does a lot of damage. It also has Mold Breaker, which is kind of pointless this early on, but basically any Pokemon that has an ability that, that um... I forgot what it does, but it allows, um... Uh, what am I trying to say? What Mold Breaker does, say someone has Levitate, you can use Ground-type Pokemon... Ground-type moves on that Pokemon. There. Jeez, I can't talk. Everything's advancing. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who doesn't have a single gym badge. You just lost to Colonel, like, two minutes ago. But that's tough. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you beat me, the leader. Anyways, here's your official Pokemon League badge to Cole badge. Yay! I got a badge! Having that Cole badge means your Pokemon can now use the move hidden uh the hidden move of Rock Smash outside of battle. You should also take this too. Hey, TM76. Can you guess what that is? It's the move Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on foes that switch in battle. And blah, blah, blah. It will teach its move instantaneously, but it will break because for some reason that's what it does. I'm not gonna lie, Stealth Rock is a, is a useful move. It's not useful for me. At least I don't think. Does anyone, can anyone know it? I doubt it. Let's see. Pyrotech can learn it, but again, I just like, I have no use for it right now. Maybe later down the line, but I have no use for it. Alright, so, I guess that's it then. We beat up Rourke. I easily got the first gym badge. Thanks, Azalea. Azalea, you're the best Pokemon. And now you have to take a back seat because <laughs> you're too powerful now. Yeah. You're too powerful now. You gain, you're like five levels higher than everyone else. Yeah, no, that's it. I'm done. So that's gonna be the, that's gonna be the episode right here. So if you like what you see here, then slap that like button. Really like what you see here, then slap the subscribe button. You won't regret it. If you do, blame yourself for listening to me. And next time, I guess we backtrack. Something else for us to do here. So, and I'll see you guys then.